The town of Poggiardo is situated in the very heart of the province of Lecce and it extends into the Adriatic hinterland of the Salentinian Peninsula. The territory is part of the union of towns named Terra d'Oriente, together with Otranto, Murolecese, Uggiano and Giordignano. The rich flat landscape surrounds the built-up area and near the Serra of Poggiardo the territory is characterized by the presence of hills, which enrich its natural significance. Woodlands extend towards the territory of Minervino. They are characterized by important green spaces, where one encounters the most striking examples of Mediterranean fauna and flora. For centuries, its territory, rich in water and extremely fertile, allowed the development of the agricultural industry that in Poggiardo still occupies a prominent place centralized on the production of grains and olive oil. Here, the evidence of a human impact dates back to the Messapian period, when the surrounding area was dominated by the imposing town of Vaste, now a hamlet of Poggiardo. The town of Poggiardo preserves an historical artistic heritage of considerable interest, a thousand-year history which ranges from the Messapian times to the Byzantine heritage, up to the modern age when noble families started promoting the construction of sumptuous buildings and palaces. Since 1572, the town has offered protection to the prelates from Castro, who found refuge here because of the invasions of the Turks, who threatened the seat of the bishop, then abolished in 1818. The historic artistic beauty of Poggiardo combines with its capacity to welcome tourists. It is a community that has established the important objective of cultural tourism, enabling it to offer both on authenticity of place and genuine hospitality. Poggiardo has an interesting historic center, symbol of the profound social changes which affected this community from the Middle Ages up to the 19th century. The town began to see an extraordinary economic and demographic growth during the 19th century, when Poggiardo became the main town of the district and seat of the royal court. The weekly market has confirmed its importance up to today by making the town a big shopping centre. The illustrious families of the town sponsored the construction of imposing residences to celebrate the richness of this land. An example is the architectural beauty of Villa Episcopo, renowned for its 19th century park situated at the entrance of the historical hamlet, today property of the city. The ancient urban setting, once protected by defensive walls, is still visible to the eyes of attentive visitors. The structure of the Ducal Palace presents the typical structural developments of the fortresses of Terra d'Otranto. The building was transformed into a noble residence, symbol of the feudal power which in Poggiardo was represented for centuries by the Guarini family. The walls of the parish church dedicated to the transfiguration of Jesus date back to the 18th century. On 
on top of the Porto, one admires the coat of arms of the Universitas of Poggiardo, an ox and drum a fluted column. Inside the monumental space is characterized by side altars, rich in patterns and decorations in the style of the artists from the second half of the 18th century. Other surprises await the visitor. A few meters away from the main church, one admires one of the most typical subterranean Byzantine monuments of the Salentinian Peninsula, the crypt of Santa Maria degli Angeli. This 10th century monument was subjected in the 20th century to an imposing recovery activity in order to protect and better preserve the important pictorial heritage dating back to the High Middle Ages. Therefore, the frescoes were removed to be restored and well preserved, and now they are on show at the Museum of Frescoes, situated in the underground area of Episcopal Square. The structure of the museum mimics the original location of the paintings, in order to best admire them and to have a real historic vision of the underground monument of Santa Maria degli Angeli. Visitors can enjoy in this way the colors and typical shapes of the Byzantine world, which has illuminated for centuries the Italian-Greek civilization. A sincere religious and popular devotion, which even now belongs to the heritage of this beautiful land. now a hamlet of Poggiato, was an important Messapian town of the Salento territory. Some parts of the ancient vestiges can be admired in the opposing park of Burgers, located just a few kilometers from the town center. In the well-known map of Salento, one of the oldest cartographic representations of the area, the town has been labelled in the Messapian language as Basta, and one can also find this name in the works of the great Greek and Roman geographers such as Ptolemy and Pliny. Basta flourished as a community during the Roman and the Byzantine Empire, and then it was tragically destroyed by the Normans during the middle of the 12th century, under the reign of William the Bad. In the 16th century, Thanks to the feudal families, Baste established a new urban layout, reconstructed on its ancient ruins, which correspond to the actual old town, characterized principally by the presence of the baronial palace and the parish church. The main church, dedicated to the Madonna delle Grazie, was rebuilt employing new 18th century walls, thanks to the help of the baron Ippazzo de Marco, who promoted the reconstruction of the ancient 16th century building. The facade with its sober and solemn lines presents two orders, while the stone portal is surmounted by the civic coat of arms of Vaste. The interior has a single nave, characterized by the presence of side altars, sculpted according to the standards of the late 18th century art. The parish church is flanked by the baronial palace, which shows architectural traits of its ancient military origin, confirmed by the presence of the Ostia Square Tower. This structure was enlarged and modified during the modern age by the feudal lords of the place in order to realize a comfortable and dignified noble residence. Now, the wide spaces of the palace house the archaeological museum, 
among the most important cultural institutes of the province of Lecce. The focus is the historical heritage of the ancient Messapian town Baste. Another very important characteristic is the reconstruction of the graves of the knight and the athlete, found during excavations in 1985, organized by the University of Lecce. A journey into the artistic tradition of this ancient land, as shown by the trozzelle, typical Messapian vases, or the red figured wine vessels examples of a painting style of the territory, often attributed by the archaeologists to the artistic works of the painter from Vaste. Noteworthy is the well-known tesoretto, made up of 150 silver coins and a collection of ivory playing cards a rare example of a game paraphernalia dating to the Roman period. The Archaeological Museum is a place of innovation and experimentation of cultural management, a part of the polos, in fact, with the characteristic citrus fruit, houses an elegant museum café, known among young people for its aperitifs and great music. Vaste is a jewel of the Salentinian thousand-year history, capable of showing visitors the important cultural heritage, conserved with intelligence and good taste. The history of Vaste and Poggiardo becomes dynamic in the cultural scenario of the Park of Warriors. The park covers 20 hectares, which include the important archaeological site related to the Messapian heritage of the ancient village of Vasta. The monumental portal marks the start of a historical roadway in this ancient village which marks the town's line of development beginning six centuries before the birth of Christ. One can admire the evolution of the fortification structures situated in the property called Pizzinaghe. Some sections of the imposing walls, constructed between the 4th and the 5th century before Christ, reach a thickness of 8 meters. Near the property named Melike, in the northern part of the settlement, one encounters the religious history of Vaste. Here it is possible to admire the ancient necropolis dating back to the 5th century before Christ. The evolution of Vaste in the Roman and Byzantine imperial context is evidenced in the property known as Giuliano where one admires the ruins of an ancient early Christian cemetery, known as the Martirium di Santo Stefano, which arose near a church, which conserves in its foundations its architectural development dating from the 5th to 10th century. The characteristic Byzantine underground church, probably dating back to the 10th century, is dedicated to the first Christian martyr. The building carved into the rock features a plan with three naves. The walls preserve the precious paintings realized in the Byzantine style between the 10th and the 14th century. Very important are the activities proposed by the cultural area, where visitors can admire the homes of the Messapian period, rebuilt thanks to the scientific data 
collected within the field of archaeology. The precious historical heritage makes the town one of the most desirable destinations for experts and visitors interested in the knowledge of the ancient Salentinian heritage. Pozzardo preserves an important naturalistic heritage within its territory. The innovative educational arboretum is linked to the museum system of the town. It is a natural park situated on the slopes of the Serra of Pozzardo, near the archaeological Paleo Christian complex of the property Giuliano. The green area is equipped for hosting families with children or excursionists in search of relaxation. The natural context is suited for the development of innovative teaching methods aimed at discovering aspects and characteristics of the Salentinian tree species. The museum system of Vaste and Poggiardo with the Arboretum is the promoter in the province of Lecce of an important activity in respecting and valuing the environmental biodiversity in the Salentinian Peninsula. Another characteristic of the natural landscape of Poggiardo is the pine forest Mari Rossi. The name derives from the typical reddish color of the ground, which indicates the presence in the area of a bauxite, a striking vermilion mineral. The territory was the subject of an important and sensitive operation of reforestation. The pine forest covers an area of 16 hectares and presents different natural caves such as the well-known cave that breathed, first named for the presence of a continuous gust of air. In the territory of Boggiardo, art combines with nature in a pleasant and harmonious way, by displaying an anthropological wealth, which is well known even today for its human warmth and a wise conservation of its local heritage.